Today we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. You know, it's all, it's once again we're talking about leaving. It's all about going to God the Father. It's not about dying. It's about going on to the next life. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. We glorify God as we pray. Glory, Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, whose Son today ascended into heaven as the apostles looked on, grant that in accordance with his promise, we may be worthy for him to live with us always on earth, and we will live with him in heaven through Christ our Lord. A reading from the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my, my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpets blast. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our God, sing praise. God, God mounts his throne to shouts, shouts of joy, joy a blare of trumpets, trumpets for the Lord. For king of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations, God sits upon his holy throne. God, God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, 
the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Thus it is written that Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in that city until you are clothed with the power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, raised his hands, and blessed them. As he blessed them, he parted from them and was taken up to heaven. They did him homage and then returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple praising God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hello, everyone. You know, today the ascension we celebrate it's kind of that conclusion of Jesus' life on earth before and after his resurrection. And you know, really what it is, is a story of God's love. You know, today Jesus gives us that mission statement, so to speak, to his disciples. He gives us that conclusion of what he wanted us to do, what he wanted us to keep doing, the things that he taught us while he was here on earth. You know, and what did he teach us? From the very beginning, when he was born, incarnated, it was from God's love. When Jesus taught us, it was the healing, the love, the forgiveness. When Jesus hung upon the cross, he forgave those who did and who crucified him. So it's all those things that Jesus taught us that we need to carry on. As Jesus you know, was taken up into heaven, he blessed the apostles. He wanted them to carry on that mission, that mission statement. What it is, is all about God's love, God's mercy, and God's forgiveness that we need to continually think about. We need to go on that mission ourselves. As we are lifted up, as Jesus was lifted up, we need to be lifted up to do good for others, the charity works, all those things for other people while we are here on earth. So let's carry on the mission of Jesus, his peace, his mercy, his forgiveness, his love that we share with others so that we lift ourselves up to help others. We lift ourselves up to do charity works, to help and love those and to forgive those who have done us wrong. So think about that as we reflect upon Jesus ascending into heaven. Let us ascend from where we are to do better things in our life. God bless and stay safe, my brothers and sisters. For our church may now be a community that shares our love, our mercy, and our forgiveness with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our entire world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are lost or struggling, may they be transformed by God and helped by all others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are suffering from any sicknesses, whether physical or mental, may Almighty God comfort and heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died and to come to share in the resurrection and peace of the risen Lord, let us pray to, to the Lord. Lord. Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, loving God, we thank you for loving us, for never abandoning us. May we do the same with one another through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have spread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our Lord and of God's holy church. O God, whose only begotten Son, our High Priest, is seated, ever living at your right hand to intercede for us, grant that we may approach with confidence the throne of grace and there obtain your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With lift up your hearts. You let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, the mediator between God and man, judge of the word and Lord of hosts, he has ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. And so we truly join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by, sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Joseph and Edith O'Malley, Harry and Layla Corcoran, Patricia Ann Noon, Mr. and Mrs. Anthony Castlegrand and family, Deborah R. Skiscavage, and Brian Powers, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the gifts we have received from your altar, Lord, kindle in our hearts a longing for the heavenly homeland and cause us to press forward, following in the Savior's footsteps to the place where for our sake he entered before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May God's blessing continue to guide our journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you.